Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nathan Turner with Turner Auto Group here in Opelika, Alabama. I've got a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas R design for you today. One of my top five favorite three row SUVs out there. I love this Volkswagen brand on the Atlas specifically. The ride quality, the space, everything you get with this car is absolutely fantastic. The blue in this is top notch with the black interior, very sporty, very elegant, absolutely love it. Beautiful rims, but we're gonna do a full walk around on this one. I wanna go over around the whole features on the exterior that make this R design what it is. We'll dive on the inside. I'll go over some of the nice features there, and then I'll tell you how to find us online. But again, this is a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas R design. Let's start front and center right up here. Very nice, cool. I love the bar grill. I uh, love the headlights and everything. Up front, all LED headlights, fog lights, um, actually are up in the top with your daytime running lights. And you do have the LED high beams. So very nice. I love those LED lights. And then you do have your R Design package badge right there. You've got your front sensors, you've got your front camera right there, front and center. These Atlases make plenty of power. I love this motor, very streamlined motor. Um, you can see, I love the lines on this. It's very simplistic, but it's got some kind of arches above both wheels um, that kind of continue up into the body line that they were able to design that they were designing um, and it just really it works it makes everything look really muscular uh, I love it beautiful wheel for that R design brand new tires on this unit nice silver roof rack up top chrome bar around the bottom of the doors and around the windows coming around the back Nice chrome bar across the back with Atlas in it. Tow package down below. The one thing I am zonking, and I cannot believe Volkswagen tried to get away with this. Right there. It looks like you've got dual exhaust. Those are not holes. Those are completely filled in. I don't know why. How easy is it just to make exhaust tips these days? A very cool feature here when the lights are on, which I'll try to show you at the end of this video, and you can kind of see it here. This rear tail light, it makes that R. You can kind of see it there. As I get back, it really becomes pretty evident uh, and obvious, but you can see it. It's really nice at night when it's lit up. Again, very nice tow package. Having that on this, on something like this is fabulous. You got your bikes. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Bike rack fits easily. You got a, a basket for going to the beach, uh, for the coolers, the chairs, everything like that. Super nice there as well. You can see that body line I was talking about right there and on the front right there. Our design, or our line, excuse me, badge right there on the front door. Let's go ahead, keyless entry. So all you'd have to do is grab that door handle. It opens, unlocks. You do have your all weather floor mats all the way to the back on this one. Nice leather seating. It's black leather with the gray tone um, on the sides. Nice bolstering. And another thing I love about Volkswagen is they do have a lot of the same features all these other cars do, but it's just still very simplistic. Everything works, everything is nice and pretty, um, but this R design gives you a couple little features um, above what the other ones also give you, but it's just, it's done a little bit nicer since this is your pretty much top of the line. You do have your Fender audio system. You can see that badge right there. Very nice sound system. Huge cubby down here on the door. So 
So this is a true seven passenger. So you two, three, and two. So plenty of room, but look at all the room legroom wise with these seats. Those front seats are where I would sit when I'm driving or if I'm riding. I'm super comfortable in here, but check this out. You get in here, look at the distance between the back seat and my knees. Not only is that nice for just knee room, but it's also nice for when you're putting kids back here or you need car seats. You know what that means? You have a reverse facing car seat. That driver and that front passenger, they're not sitting in the dashboard, which is super, super nice. Coming over here to the middle, you do have heated seats back here with a full ability to move your temperature with fan speed and temperature. And then down below, you do have a full 15 volt outlet. And then you have two USB-C outlets down there as well. Coming over to the door, nice big cup holders down below, nice storage. And then you do have sunshade, that nice built-in sunshade in that side window. So for the back, we've got that third row down at the moment, but we'll put it up here in a minute. Very nice, you've got one pull, that seat accordion's up, but another very nice part of it is, if there's a car seat in that seat, you can still accordion up and you don't have to worry about the car seat. So that's fantastic. Again, you can see that back here, you do have your all weather floor mats. And this is how new this car is and how great the first owner was is they left your plastic on those handles right there. Carpet looks brand new, smells brand new, no issues here. This is the perfect used car for a family. Alright, so let's open up this back hatch. One touch, it'll open right up. Here you go with all of the room with the third row down. But let's go ahead and pull this third row up. You just grab that handle, pull back, and whenever you stop, it stops. Grab this piece right there. Stops right there. Plenty of room still in this. I mean, that's amazing for a three row non-monster Tahoe, Yukon, Sequoia, that whole deal, to have this much room behind the third row. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely amazing. So you do have the um, cargo protection mat back here. And when you have this mat, it comes with this cool thing. So these are Velcroed pieces. You can move them around. It will keep things from sliding around or anything like that back here. Uh, just to keep cargo a little bit more where it needs to be. And then you've got a little bit of storage underneath. Let's see if I can do this. See your Fender audio system under there. And you have a perfect place to store your um, cargo cover right there. And then nice first aid kit that's also never been used. to do that with one hand but I got it again tow package right there with your hookups backup sensors and the sensors on the side which means it has cross detection so if you're backing out of a parking spot it will let you know if cars are coming from the sides and let you even know which side it's coming from. So opening that driver's door, you heard the beeping. I actually left the car running. I've got the key in my pocket. Um, so it'll just beep at you, letting you know it is still running. Let's roll this window down. One touch window. Nice blind spot, blind spot detection system right there. Fender sound system with your door lock and unlock. Down below is going to be your power windows, power mirrors, and your um, child lock. And then all the way down is your rear door opener there. Huge 
places to store things over here in these doors. A lot of great storage, which is super nice. Full power seat with lumbar and as you can see right there on the top, which is really nice having it there. I like it on the door too. Some people put it really right on the side of the door, which is kind of just in the way, but I like the uh, memory setting right here on the side of the seat. Simple to get to right there and easy. See that leather seat is absolutely in fantastic shape. I mean, it is a 2022 slightly used vehicle. I mean, this thing's only got, I think it's right at 36,000 miles on this. Uh, so low miles, um, barely used, but ready for the next owner. Let's go ahead and hop in here. So our line and our design, however you want to say it, um, you, the, I think it's an eight inch screen up here. It is fully customizable. I love it like this so I can keep the radio on the center screen as you can see it there. Um, and that way my navigation is up here. You still have your park, you still have your miles per hour, gas shows over there and your heat and everything is over there. So super nice, easy to read, easy to use. Left side of the steering wheels, you got your volume. You do have your cruise control and everything there with your radar cruise and your lane keep assist. Another R badge down there. And right side of the steering wheel, you do have your channel buttons there. You do have all the buttons up here with your heated steering wheel button that controls that screen and customizes it right there. Coming over here to the center, you've got your heated heated seat, cooled seat, and cooled seat and heated seat for the passengers. Everything's front and center there, very simple to use. Um, dual AC, and then you do have the AC for the rear, which it's very simple. All you do is go into um, the screen and you can actually control everything for the screen. So before I show you that screen, I wanna show you down here, which is really nice. You do have a parking feature. This will park itself. Uh, so you can actually turn that on. You've got your camera system and everything like that. And then down below, you've got your start stop engine button um, here instead of up on the dash uh, or on the gear shift or anything like that. So I like that as well, right there next to your parking brake. So with this screen, let's go ahead, put it in reverse. Nice big screen there, shows everything you're gonna need in the back. If we hit the front screen, I think here, we can hit up here and change it. You've got your overhead view there. And then if we put it down in drive, I think we can hit it again. It shows you the complete overview there. And that's where the front camera comes into play, back cameras, and then you actually have a camera in both side mirrors. So if I open the door, you can kind of see that rotate. And that annoying noise letting you know. So you do have radio and media controls on here. You've got your car button. So all the off-road settings. Um, this is the, it does have off-road modes, uh, depending on how you were, where you're wanting to go and how you're wanting to drive. Um, you got the off-road and the selections there. Let's go back to radio. So I'll let it kind of go to sleep because this screen has a nice little gesture feature. So right there, it just went to sleep. So if I raise my hand and I come up to it, you saw those bottom buttons kind of come up. So it'll go back down in a second. And as I reach for it, they come up. The really nice feature is if you're wanting to change the actual stations, you can basically touch all these, but if you've got more of them, you can come in here, and sorry for the glare, but you can come in here and you wave your hand. If it wasn't, let's see here, there you go. You just wave your hand in front, it'll go to your next set, and you can just continue to do that. Just a pretty cool feature there. 
One thing I wish, and I, I think they could probably do better on, is if these squares, if you go to XM Radio or something like that, let me see if it shows it. Um, so it's not on now, but if you had XM channels stationed in there, it will actually come up. Um, you'll have logos in there. Uh, I still wish they would do that for the regular radio as well. But great sounding sound system, that Fender sound system. Uh, subwoofers are great, very popular uh, in, in the Volkswagen uh, lineup for sure as their top end um, sound system. So very nice, very nice to have there. So just down below, you do have two more USB-Cs and a 12 volt. Two nice big cup holders they are lit you do have ambient lighting in here which is very nice at night it lights up really pretty let me hop out real quick so center console opens up super large no top tier bottom tier anything like that you do have another usb-c in here um i guess you were telling you um, Volkswagen saying you need to upgrade your phones or go to USB-C because if you have a USB, it's not working for you in here. So anyway, but very nice. That's about five to six inches deep. Huge amount of storage there, which is very, very helpful for that family SUV. Huge sunroof. This is a dual panel sunroof front and rear. And it does have the cover on there i think i can close it that way so it'll come all the way shut it'll probably cl it'll close all the way this time but you can stop it halfway or it goes all the way to the front all right so i cut those lights on back here you can see it a little better that nice R right there in that tail light. Sorry for the wind. We've got some storms coming in. I'm trying to get all these done before this nice sun goes away. But again, it's a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas R line. Beautiful car, 36,000 miles, loaded up with everything. Check us out online at turnerautogroupllc.com. Check us out online um, or on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, all the above. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.